Come on, Pons, let's see where we've landed. Oh. Of course. It's just me now. Who, what, and why? I'm so sorry. It's alright. You look startled. Something wrong. I'm being chased by them. In times like this, I usually run. Good idea. Can I ask, why is there a gang of scary men in black chasing you? Answers later. Run now. What are you doing? They're gonna catch up. I just thought that we could pop inside this box to hide. That's not actually a bad idea. But, you knew. Welcome to the TARDIS. It's a space and time machine and it's mine. It's uh, bigger on the inside. I know. It's great. What's this? No doubt, please, Mark. You'd look great in this. Why don't you wear it? Reminds me too much of an old friend. Too painful. That's why I wear this purple get -up. Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? Taken by it. I'd rather not talk about it. Let's talk about you again. Why were you being chased? I need a status report. I saw your dune ship go over Earth. I need readings at once. Captain, we saw a blue telephone box go around the sun. You think the gravitational pull would have taken it down, but it flew past like nobody's business. Check the database. I know I've seen a ship with that description before. Captain, I found the Jadoon. They're landing on Mars. Alert! Moon Base 11 is now going into shutdown mode. All remaining personnel will need to evacuate before the timer runs out. You have five minutes. What in God's name is going on? Joanna, check the systems, quick! Captain, the base is going into critical lockdown mode. Can somebody go check with Connor as to why we are going into lockdown? Yes, Captain. I guess we're just gonna have to find our own way out. Captain! What is it? I've got a bit bad news. What is it? We've got Jadoon coming to our location. Great. Just what we need. You're a quiet guy, aren't you? What happened? Open up to me. I don't know what happened. I was minding my own business on Castromia, walking through the city. And then, a gang and Black Hammer were chasing me. Why run? I don't know, man. Normally when people chase you, you run to avoid conflict. <clears throat> Fair enough. We never introduced ourselves properly. I'm the Doc. I'm Jordan. Thanks for helping me out. 
no worries. I always seem to find myself in these situations and anyway. what do? <clears throat> yeah, normally I have a panic, but uh not right now. Not right. What was that? Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello, I'm the doctor. What's wrong? We're a small moon base, on the Let me guess. The moon. What's the problem? The moon base is going into lockdown. Our commander has disappeared. We have Jadoon coming for our location. We need help. On our way. You okay? Happy I was right when I said our this time. So what are we doing now? We're going to the moon. I really hope this doctor fellow hurries. Me too. The Jadoon are almost here. Could you contact Connor and Michelle? Yes, Captain. Oh, hi there, Michelle. Captain sent me down here to find out why the base is going in a lockdown. It's weird. How so? Well, the system believes there is a virus that's breached the base, but looking deeper into it, I've worked out that it's been put into lockdown by one of the COs. Which commanding officer would put the base into lockdown? Didn't Commander Bray disappear as soon as the base went into lockdown? He wouldn't. Connor, Michelle, any news? The system believes that a virus has breached the base, but looking deeper into it, it looks like the uh, lockdown's been ordered by one of the COs. Who would do that? Uh, didn't Commander Bray disappear? That's a serious accusation. Just look at the facts. Keep us informed. Will do. Are we? On the moon. Haven't been here in a while. When was the last time you were here? A long time ago. Lifetimes. I was a different man back then. I... Yeah. I've changed a lot too. I didn't mean... I suppose you right. Time's changed. We all change all through our lives. Doctor? Hello, I'm here. But you're right, I can't get inside your base. I have to help you from here. Captain? What is it? They're here. Damn! Keep me on screen. Faux crow, faux show, flo ro no What are you saying? I'm asking them what they're doing on the moon. <laughs> what did they say? The moon base is harvesting residual energy left by another Jadoon squad. Remember when I said I was here before? Yeah. Well, the Jadoon hijacked a hospital. At, uh, so was a plasma ball. Posting is one of the patients. But the beam they used is powered by pure Prydrox energy, which is one of the most unstable forms of energy. It can only be used to power one thing with fire residual energy. Dare I ask? A hyper white charge. One of the biggest bombs on this side of the universe. Completely illegal and completely immoral. We should leave them. What? 
We should let the Jaduna rest. There's only one reason that they're harvesting that residual energy, and that's to build the bomb. That's all they can use. Doctor, they said their commander disappeared, and the base went into lockdown. Something doesn't seem right. No. Doctor? No, something doesn't seem right. Hello, Captain Jackson, can you still hear me? Tell me, what is it you lot are farming up there? That's on a need-to-know basis, I'm afraid. Ah, so secret that you don't even know. Am I correct? Yes. It's just as I thought. You lot have no idea what you're farming, because if you did, you wouldn't be farming. There is no virus roaming around your place. You were only put on lockdown by the one person that's not there with you. Commander Bray. I knew it! We're being set up! George. Would you mind stepping in front of the monitor for me? Why? Because you've been avoiding this screen ever since we established communication with the moon base, and for someone I picked up on Castro, you've been very calm about the whole Shadow Proclamation and all the space travel we've been doing. So please, step in front of the monitor. You think you're so clever, don't you? No. I know I'm so clever. Captain, take the base out of lockdown. Use code 9 alpha 6 gamma. You coward. That's no way to talk to your commanding officer. Now do it. So what do you know? The men chasing you back from Castromia were government officials, right? Or at least they had some sort of authority. They knew what you were doing, so they called the Jadoon to your moon base and hacked your telephone. So that you could only land back on that planet. You're going to sell the residual energy you harvested to the highest bidder. It doesn't matter what they're using, as long as you get rich. Now, how correct am I? Wow, you really are clever. Now take me to the moon base. Now. Welcome back, traitor. What did I say about speaking to me like that? You will address me as sir. Now, then, doctor, you seem to know what you're doing. Get these Jadun to leave us alone, or I will kill you, then everyone else here, and escape. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> What's so funny? Did you not hear what I just said? Are you familiar with Jadun? They're savages. They won't stop until they have their prize in hand. So even if you do kill us all, they won't stop until they have you. They will see their mission through to the very end. But I have a plan. Let them in. Let me talk to them. I've dealt with the Jadoon before. I've helped them find one of their targets. They might be able to make a deal with us. Are you a madman? Yep. With a box. You'd better come up with a plan soon, Doctor. Hmm, I've got it. Captain Jackson, would you mind standing here just next to me? Why? If you want to know. 
trust me. Who else do we have on board? Michelle, Joanna, and Connor. Right, perfect. Right, I'm speaking to Michelle, Joanna, and Connor. All three of you head for the big blue box in the laboratory. You'll be safe in there, you've got one minute. What about us? Oh, don't worry, I'm getting to us. Now, for the Jadoo. Bow crow fur, bow no, mow slow. What did you say to them? Well, basically, I told them that the man they're looking for is locked in the control. And he was the only man who bought theft of the pride drop tapes. And now, I'm locking us all into this room using a deadlock seal. You moron. Now we will all die. You've killed us both, you fool! Captain, trust me. Do not leave my son. I want the pleasure of killing you myself. Fair enough. Go ahead. What the? Oh yeah, forgot to say I was summoning my ship to me too. Must have slipped my mind. It's, it's, well, it's, um, it's... It's bigger on the inside. Yeah, we were all like that, Captain. So, you're not the only one. Is everybody here? Where's Joanna? I'm here, Captain. Don't worry. Doctor? Everyone is here. Perfect! Okay, Jordan. By the right of the Shadow Proclamation, you are under arrest. Doctor, you can't do this! Please! I'm begging you! You take me to safety too! Jordan, can you do me a favor? Anything, Doctor. Anything. I want you to think. Think about all those people that the hyperwide charge would have killed. While you rot in a holding cell, I want you to think about all the children that you would have had a hand in burning. Maybe then, you'll see how much you deserve this. Doctor! We don't have jobs anymore. So, what happens now then, Doctor? You go home. We're home. United States of America, Ohio. I was here recently. In New York. Really? Yeah. After all that? 
after being away from Earth for so long, you sometimes forget what it's like. Yeah, the moon is fun and all that, but it's nice to be back. It's nice to see you getting out and searching the stars, though. How do you mean? Well, it's all waiting out there for you. All these planets, creatures, horizons, the Earth isn't going to be here. You think it'll last forever. People, cars, and concrete. But it won't. It'll all disappear in the moment. Like breath. In a mirror. Even the sky. My planet's gone. It's dead. Burnt like that. Just rocks. Down. Before it's time. What happened? There was a war. We lost. A war? With who? What about your people? I'm a time lord. I'm the last of the time. So they're all gone. I'm the only survivor. I'm left travelling on my own because I have no Not any more. Bye, Doctor.